Today, I'm going to teach you about a UK spaceport and not just any spaceport, the most northerly spaceport in the whole of the United Kingdom. It's not even on the mainland. Let's learn about Saxaford. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and as always, whenever or wherever you're watching this, welcome to Spaceflight Scotland. So as I just mentioned, today we're going to take a look at the most northerly space launch facility in the whole of the UK. We're going to look at the location, the history, and the reason why it's so damn far away from, well, anywhere. Let me show you what I mean. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know the distance I travelled to Space Hub Sutherland, and I live in the Highlands. But Saxavord is a different matter. Located on the islands of Shetland, it's as far north as you can get in any UK territory without needing a passport. Now you might be thinking, those greedy Scots with two space facilities very close to each other. But I'll repeat what I've said before. It's all to do with location, location, location. Unfortunately, the very north of Scotland is ideal for this type of thing. That being said, Saxavord is marketed as the UK's premier Pathfinder spaceport. A lot of money and big contracts have their eyes on Saxavord. And their website says that they will host the UK's Space Agency's Pathfinder launch mission, which will be delivered by Lockheed Martin and ABL Systems in 2022. Well, what does a Premier Pathfinder spaceport do? What's different to this from the Sutherland one? Unlike Sutherland, the spaceport in Shetland will host up to three launch pads and three integration hangars each for shared or exclusive use. This allows smaller organisations or universities to reduce costs by agreeing to share an integration hangar. However, it also gives the flexibility for military or government or just organisations who want a bit more privacy depending on their payload to have exclusive use of a hangar. This should make a launch cadence and turnaround much higher than that of Space Hub Sutherland. This, however, by no means belittles the efforts at Sutherland. They're both very important facilities to the UK space industry, and they've been designed for completely different things. In fact, the Saxavord website even hints that they will have facilities for VIP hosting and entertaining. Both Saxavord and Sutherland are capable of launching rockets, albeit of slightly different sizes, to a polar or sun-synchronous orbit. However, there is one word on the Saxavord website that stands out, and it's one that's been touted by the media in recent weeks. And that word is suborbital, as seen here in this quote. The spaceport has been designed to host a wide variety of launch missions on rockets with payloads of up to 1.5 tonnes into sun-synchronous, polar and high inclination orbits, as well as sub-orbital flights. Now let's put this one to rest. I do not believe that Saxavord at this time plans to allow billionaires to launch their latest toys just so that they can have a few minutes throwing ping pong balls at each other in a low gravity environment. Maybe that is in the plans somewhere down the line, but I believe that to be suborbital rockets to test scientific equipment for universities and other organisations. They'll be doing stuff like weather and atmospheric monitoring, that sort of thing. I could be wrong. And we could see the super-rich shopping in Inverness 
before getting their flights up to Shetland for their hop to space. I hope I'm wrong, but there is still more to Saxavord. Saxavord Spaceport is building a network of ground-based antennas to support low Earth orbit satellites. This will offer a range of services to help support launch telemetry and other services. This is part of the LEAF Space Network and joins over 20 other ground stations, including Greenland, Alaska, Antarctica and the Falkland Islands. Before I wrap up, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to future videos. Now, although I've never been to Shetland, Saxavord does hold a special place in my heart. My late father was based at Area Saxavord, as it was known then back in the 1970s. The Royal Air Force chose Saxavord as a site to host its long-range radar as the most northerly point in a network of radars which covered the whole of the British Isles. It was important to monitor Russian aircraft movements during the Cold War and Unfortunately, it was shut down in 2005. However, in September 2017, the Ministry of Defence confirmed that they were going to invest £10 million in Saxavord to reactivate it as a remote radar facility. This is an unmanned facility and it's nothing to do with Spaceport, but it is interesting to note the importance of Shetland to the UK's defence and space industries, obviously both military and commercial. The new radar installed um, in late 2017, early 2018, was built by Lockheed Martin, who are also involved in the planned launches from the spaceport. So it's different to Space Hub Sutherland, and it's supposed to be. They're not competing, they both have very different jobs and missions to do. Um, I'm very keen on both of them. They are right on my doorstep and whether you see them as Scottish or British or whatever, let's leave politics out of it. It's space and it's here. It's for us. So I'm excited. Do I think billionaires are going to be launching themselves from either of these facilities? No, they're not designed for that. In the future, I could be proven wrong. They might build massive pads, but I think if you've got the money for that, you're going to be wanting to be launching from warmer climes. It's going to be Florida, it's going to be Texas, New Zealand, places like this. It's not going to be the northernmost point of Scotland. So, will I visit it? Absolutely. Once it's fully built and operational, I would love to visit Space of Sutherland again and Spaceport Sacks Award, absolutely. Um, I wish to thank Spaceport Sacks Award for allowing me to use some images of their website. I'll put a link to the website below. Go and have a look, it is quite interesting um, and it's a very well put together website. Uh, so, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I've already said it, but just remind you to do it. Thanks very much and thank you for all my support so far.